Hi, in this video we're going to look at the B920 keypad from Bosch. A keypad is the way you interact with your alarm system. Think of it as the monitor, keyboard, and mouse of your alarm system. So let's get started. This is the Bosch B920 keypad. It's rectangular with black top, white bottom, and has a two-line LCD display. If it's a different color or shape, it's not the B920 keypad and it's not going to work exactly the same. The B920 has indicator lights on the side. The top indicator light is a check mark. If it's lit up green, that means that all points are normal and the alarm system is ready to be armed. The second indicator is a padlock. If it's lit up solid red, that means the alarm is armed. Faulting any point will trip the alarm at this point. If it's red and flashing, that means that there is an active alarm. The third indicator is a triangle with an exclamation point. If it's lit up yellow, that means there is a malfunctioning alarm device, what we call a trouble. The LCD display will give you a trouble message. Write this message down and contact your alarm company right away. The fourth indicator is the word gas. If it is flashing blue, you have a carbon monoxide leak and should evacuate the premises immediately. It's important to note that not all alarm systems have a carbon monoxide detector installed and connected to our alarm system. The last indicator is a power plug. If it's solid blue, your alarm system has AC power and battery backup power. If it is flashing blue, your alarm system is running on backup power and only has a few hours of operation left. Contact your alarm company if your alarm system is ever running on battery backup power for over an hour, as the battery may need to be serviced or replaced. This is the number pad. Use these buttons to enter your alarm code. This is the menu key. Use this to enter the menu to access basic programming functions. This is the enter key. This is the previous and next key. Use these to navigate the menu. This is the escape key. Use this to exit a menu or to backspace when entering a code. This is the bypass button. If you want the system to temporarily ignore a point, you can bypass that point using this button. That will allow you to arm the rest of the system while faulting one device.